So, Istanbul, where do you start? Kaiser Bill's Fountain, usually known, I believe, as the German Fountain. This Neo-Byzantine style structure was donated by the German government in 1900. It was given to commemorate the visit in 1898 of the German Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II affectionately known to the British, especially during World War I, as Kaiser Bill. Yes, we're downtown in old Istanbul. And zooming in, here's the Hippodrome. Here's Topkapi Palace and grounds. Here's Hagia Sophia. So let's have a look at Sultan Ahmed Mosque, known by some people as the Blue Mosque. We were stood here the other day in the pouring rain. I have seen this mosque described as having a cascade of domes. Now the other day it really was a cascade. Now look at it in the sunshine. Building commenced in 1609 at the behest of Sultan Ahmed I. In that year, James I and VI of Scotland was on the English throne. Unusually, this mosque has six minarets. I am told that this is because the Sultan asked for gold minarets, Altin minarets, and the architect, Mehmed Aga, thought he said Alti, six minarets. Surely the lawyers should have spotted that. Yes, the noise level on that last clip was the actual noise level in here, a very animated space but I've turned it down a bit now so that we can hear what I'm saying. Now, it's right up there where you may be able to see some blue tiles. I'm told that there are 20,000 of these blue tiles up there. They're from Iznik, the place to buy your tiles in the 17th century. And this is why this mosque is often known as the Blue Mosque. There are 260 windows in this mosque. Sultan Ahmed wanted his new mosque to outshine Hagia Sophia. And in this respect, it certainly does. Hagia Sophia was built at a time when Christian churches were built deliberately to be darker, presumably to help contemplation or something. Right from the time of Osman I and probably earlier, each sultan would build a mosque which with its associated complex of buildings would be endowed by him as a charitable social facility for his people and also a memorial to his name. When the new mosque complex was completed around 1616, it included, as was quite normal, a madrasa, a hospital, a han, a primary school and a market. Most of these buildings were removed during the 19th century. I'm not sure why. The sun is setting and our time for today is nearly finished. And if we turn around here we see this. Yes, it's Adia Sophia. It's obviously too late to be going in there now. Anyway, a man told me that the best way to avoid the queues is to arrive here very early one morning. So that's what we'll do. Staying just round the corner, it should be easy enough. Breakfast time early next morning. Let's have a look out on the roof terrace. No doubt very nice to have your breakfast out here in the summer. 
I don't get a percentage from Empress Theodora by the way so I'm always open to offers for some reason I can't quite remember we're not doing Hagia Sophia today instead we're on the tram going down to the Emininu district just this side of the Galata Bridge and here we are arriving there now Lots of the ferries leave from here up the Bosphorus over to Asia. Ferries for going up the Golden Horn are further to our left. You may remember that just past here the tram swoops right and crosses the Galata Bridge. It was in that area just over the bridge that the Venetians and the Genoese, when they were allowed to stay here and trade, had to live. We'll have a look at that area later. Just now, we're going to have a look at this, the Yeni Ai Nu Mosque, on the edge of this open square at this end of the Galata Bridge. Construction began in 1597, that's about 12 years before the Blue Mosque. It was started at the behest of Safiya Sultan, the wife of Sultan Murat III. And so, like the Blue Mosque, it is what is known as an Imperial Mosque. This meant that it was built as a gulia or complex. It had a primary school, a hospital, public baths and a market. Sultan Ahmed III added a library. It has two minarets. The architect was Davut Aga, an apprentice of the acknowledged supremo of mosque building Sinan. The clinking you can hear is the man going round changing the light bulbs. We'll see him and his ladder shortly. Whereas the construction of the Blue Mosque took six or seven years, this mosque wasn't completed for over half a century. The project caused trouble in court, partly because of the expense involved, but there were also serious doubts about whether it was needed at all. In fact, when the Sultan died, it was abandoned, and then in 1660, having fallen into ruins, it was destroyed by a fire. We can see in the background here, part of that market, which was built as part of the original complex. The mother of the subsequent Sultan was persuaded to complete the work, and it was finished in 1663. From the mosque, let's have a look across here at the market. As we said, this market was built as part of the original mosque complex. The rents from this market were used to support the mosque, and they still are, I understand. It is, I think, usually referred to as the spice market though i understand that most local people still refer to it as the egyptian market you can buy here a whole selection of things as well as spices as you saw and now we've got another mosque for you it's not far away in fact it's just over there 